Good morning. I have a few plants here that I'm looking at um, planting over the shady part of my garden up in the front under the maple trees. So I'll turn the camera around so you can see. All right, so I have three of each kind. I got these all from Northland Nursery. Uh, this is a bush honeysuckle, the native kind. Nothing fancy, but uh, I'm hoping that it's because it's native, it'll, it'll be less maintenance. And then over here is Sun King Aurelia. Aurelia. Um, great for shady areas too. And I like the foliage and uh, the color. So I'm hoping that underneath the tree, it'll, with some dapple shade, it'll stay more like in between gold, goldy, goldish, golden, golden, and a uh, limey color. So somewhere around, you see? No, you can't. Of course you can. Somewhere around this type of foliage. Does that make sense? This is supposed to be deer resistant, the Aralia. I'm not sure about rabbit resistance. So I'm just gonna spray some Bobex on both every two weeks and um, just to help them survive because rabbits are uh, rampant around here. They don't, we don't have any coyotes on this side of the highway. Not that I want any coyotes because I want my dogs to be safe too. But yeah, rabbits are a problem here. I just finished spraying the shrubs um, all the way at the back of the property here, of our property here, just so um, so the neighbors don't smell smell the rabbit repellent. I mean, it should go away after a few several minutes, and, um, and while I'm doing that, I'll just I'll, I'll prep the spot where I'm planning on planting them. So this is the front side of my property. Uh, that's a maple tree and a willow and whoops and another maple tree right there. So I figured I'm gonna plant the aralias on this side over here where it gets morning sun and I have the drip already set up here because Apparently they like they like moist moist soil. As for the bush honeysuckle, I will plant one there and maybe another one right, oops, right here and then um, this is a hummingbird. I forget now, but it's a uh, sweet spire, I believe. And I think the third deer villa is somewhere over there. So I'm gonna have maybe three. Yeah, well, not maybe. I do have three. I'll have three deer villa for over there. Over. Oops. Not very good. There's over here, and then another one over there. We'll give that a try. Every time I try to dig up new holes for plants, I make it a practice to position them, position the pots first to where I think they would look the best because I don't really want to dig and realize that I make a mistake in the end. So get it done right.
finished digging all three for the aralias so there's one two and the third one over there so now i'm gonna go ahead and dig the other three for the bush honeysuckle before i dug any dig anything i like to put the pots where i intend to dig just so i can see or i can see in my head what it would kind of look like. So like I mentioned earlier, there's one here. There's another one there. And then the third one over on that side. So if you're, just imagine a nice bush honey, honeysuckle over there. It'll be, and then the last one over here. And you can kind of uh, directs you that way makes sense to me does it make sense to you all right it is now 317 uh, I've done all all the digging all six holes and my husband and I went to town and get some some stuff for the house like some groceries and and some soil and some what else Oh, a uh, kettle manure bag from Canadian Tire. Just because I feel like one of the side, one of the one of the soil on one of the areas where on the areas where I'm gonna play plant the aralia is um needs a little bit more amendment. So I'll show you what I mean. So this is what I bought from Canadian Tire. <coughs> Canadian Tire, and as you can see here. The soil is um, kind of dry. It needs uh, it needs some amendment, so that's what I'm gonna do before I plant the aralias in in this hole here. I'm also gonna be adding some all-purpose uh, fertilizer. Uh, mine is from Gaia Green Organics, and I think it's just 444 across the board. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's following me. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Uh, hold on. Okay. Can you see me? I'm going to use this product called Root Rescue. Oh, you can't see. It's all inverted. But anyway, uh, it's called Root Rescue and it's a mycorrhizal fungi. Um, it, has, it says it contains 18 species of, micro, of mycorrhizal fungi. So at least, hopefully, one of them will. Uh, will what am i trying to say so hopefully at least one of them will form a symbiosis with with my aurelius and my uh my dip, dip my my bush honeysuckle i can't really speak today i don't know why. maybe it's just me so uh i got this from amazon it's a canadian company you can buy it from their website too i think uh, but it comes with their own little spoon here. What I use is a, t a 10 liter. Well, I guess this is a 10 liter. But it uh, says mix 1 teaspoon and 7.5 liters of water. And this is 10 liters. So I'll just have a 1 teaspoon. Just put it in the 
in the bucket right here and then I'll just fill up water approximately seven liters and then um, and then I'll soak the plants in here before I plant them and then water it with the water mixed with this so I uh, that's what I'm gonna do I realized that I forgot to film myself putting the plant in the mixture of the mycorrhizal fungi and water before putting it in the hole. So now, after soaking it in the water for just a tiny bit, I put it in a hole and before backfilling, I pour some of the water mixture into the hole before backfilling it. So yeah. Good morning. It's the following day and I didn't film what I how the the ervilus or the bush honeysuckle looked like after finished planting just because it was too sunny and the light wasn't so great so I'm gonna show that now bush honeysuckle number one bush honeysuckle number two and bush honeysuckle number three and yes those are all creeping charlies these ones here are covering the ground um, which is not bad because they uh, they stop other seeds other weed seeds from germinating but eventually I'll have to uh, I'll have to remove them so there you go that's my first attempt of filming myself planting things so eventually I'll get better but for now that's what <laughs> anyway I'll uh, see you next time